What is up, guys? Welcome to uh, how to descend the Airbus A320, or the how to fly the Airbus A320 series. We're going to be doing the descent preparations. And right now, I had paused the top of descent because I was gone all day. So we're going to miss our top of descent if we don't uh, get it down now. So we're going to set 10,000 in here initially. And, and, and to descend in an Airbus, you don't just set the window like in the Boeing and you hit your top of descent point and you'll descend. No. In an Airbus, you have to push it. And that brings up descent mode, des mode. And if you have restrictions, it'll come up in purple. Uh, if you push it, it puts it in uh, managed or er, pulling it to manage. I don't know. They call it either way. If you pull it, it puts it in, in uh, open descent and... It kind of—I don't know exactly what the difference is there. I think it just gets you down to ten, and, and it won't obey the altitude restrictions. But if you put it in ten thousand, it will obey the purple altitude restrictions. You'll get an altitude restriction in purple if there is one. In our case, we don't have one. Um, preferably, before you would get to this point, you would, before you get to your descent, you would um, do all kinds of weather, all this stuff here. So this is essentially um, this is another little bonus thing you need to do in the Airbus, you need to go to your, uh, I'm sorry, you need to go to your perf page, next phase, and you need to put in your weather information. Again, typically before you descend, however, in this case, uh, we were a little slow. So 3056 is the altimeter in JFK, very high pressure, very nice. Um, temperature is three, so pretty cold, and wind is uh, calm, so we're just gonna do zero, zero, zero at zero. 180 on the transition, ILS 31, Right, the ILS 31 right into JFK. Let's see, what kind of. Uh, that's a long runway. We'll use it though. 212 um, on the minimums. And the ceiling in JFK is uh, 6,000, so we really shouldn't have a problem there. So that's good. Uh, approach speed is going to be 138 knots, and we're going to do a uh, full landing configuration. So there's four flap settings essentially zero one two three and full um, you can land flaps three if you want to but uh, we're going to do a full configuration today you'd use radio if you were doing an auto land so you'd set radio mins um, and it goes off the radio altimeter instead of the barometric altimeter so that's where that comes from oh we're already through our transition level so we'll go ahead and uh, push it 30 56 it was there so eight come through 18,000 we'll go ahead and set that and since, and uh, let's see, actually, is it raining? No, no rain in JFK, so we'll just do low auto break there. Um, descending down to the clouds now, uh, plus six on the temperature. We should have turned off the anti-ice, but we didn't, so we'll leave it on. Seatbelt sign stayed on, it was such a short flight. Um, so, yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and probably take over it with heading mode since 3-1 rights right there. So we're going to go ahead and take a heading of... We're going to pull the heading mode there is what you do. And we'll take a heading of like 230. So let's say they gave us, uh, you know, JetBlue 2417. Uh-oh. Let's hope this thing doesn't crash. Descend and maintain uh, 5,000 and uh, fly heading 230. All right. You know, 5,000 heading 230 for JetBlue. Um... 2417 so we probably should keep this descent rate coming we'll go ahead and pull the speed brake so that we can drop down just a little bit faster go on imc here and uh let's also run the descent checklist is there a descent checklist just an approach checklist so we'll go ahead and run the approach checklist whenever we are cleared for said approach um speaking of the approach let's open it up on here i, I wasn't looking at it on here because i was rushed but We'll open it up on here into JFK. We're on the Parch 3 arrival, but really we're getting headings now, so we're going to kind of deviate from the arrival. And um, this is this is basically going to be an ILS approach tutorial is what this is going to be. Um, so we'll do ground charts. Um, looking for the 10-9. It might be, is it the 29 here? Okay, we can use the 29. Sure, why not? Um, okay, then we'll go back. JFK again. Arrival. I'm sorry. Approach charts. There it is. And this is the ILS for runway 31 right. Uh, RNAV. Hello? Did I miss it? Had to have. 13 left, 2 2 left, 2 2, 2 2 right, 3 1. There it is. 3 1 right. So, just a quick little approach briefing here. So, okay. So, here's another thing with the Airbus. 
Uh, what is it one? Speed brake still out? Okay, we'll put the speed brake away for you. How about that? Um, all right, so we'll stay on this heading and then we'll get direct over there here in a little bit or whatever tower wants to give us. Um, so another thing with Airbus, just like we did with the departure. So, you know, you start with your flight plan, selecting your approach and everything like that. JFK 3-1 right, that, that checks out. That's what we're going to use. Winds are calm, so we can really do whatever we want, but we'll do this. Radnav. Now, this is obviously much more important on this, on the arrival, um, than it is on the departure. So, uh, you want to make sure your ILS frequency and identifier are correct. So, IRTH 111.5. We have IRTH 111.5. Final approach course is 314. 313 is uh, set there. We'll go ahead and set 314, perhaps, right. Oh, 314 up there. Um, did I turn our VORs on before our flight? I didn't. So we'll turn those on as well just so we can kind of see it brings it up down here and you can tell what VOR is tuned and everything like that. And a three degree glide slope, that checks out as well right there. Okay. So 1900 at Zoo Lab is going to be our final approach fix and our glide slope intercept. 212 foot um, decision height and a 2000 or a 2900 foot for us. It'll be a 2000 foot MSA, which will be coming from the south, the north. Wait. Yeah, we're coming from the north. No, we're coming from the south. Okay. Also, let's get a uh, let's say JetBlue 2417 turn right heading of two. That's 300. 300 for JetBlue 2417. And we're also below 10, so sorry, this is a kind of a sloppy descent video. So below 10,000, landing lights are coming on. Strobes can come on as well. Speed brakes are out, so we can slow up to that 250 knots. And let's go ahead and say they gave us a direct catod. JetBlue 2417, direct catod. When able to proceed, direct Katad. All right, direct Katad, JetBlue 2417. So we'll go ahead and go direct Katad, and we'll go 5,000. Um, for now, we have to be 3,000 or above at this approach fix here. All right, so we have to be at 3,000 or above. We overshot that a little bit, probably farther than we needed to. But uh, 3,000 or above a Katad, so it's probably going to start dropping us down here. We can check that out with the VDEV page here. Um, it's saying we're about 65 feet above, so it should follow that green dot and start to send us down to 3,000. Well, we'll set 1,700. So see, here's a good example of uh, whenever you push it, it'll it'll hold that 3,000 instead of going just to 1,700, right? So um, yeah, so, so we're essentially on a left base for 3-1 right here into JFK. Um, doesn't look like clouds are going to be a factor anymore. We can go ahead and turn off the engine anti-ice. Um, What else? Missed approach, climb to 1800, then a left turn to 4000, outbound LaGuardia VOR, radio 207. Um, and again, our minimums are 212 with an 1800 uh, foot RVR. So we have all of that good stuff ready to rock and roll for us. Um, we can go ahead and arm approach mode. Activate approach phase. So now it's essentially gonna try to slow, it's gonna slow us to our green dot speeds. Um, all the way in so we can go ahead and pop flap one whenever we get down uh, under that amber eyebrow there so again sorry I know this has been super rushed but this video is essentially the um, another video in the series of how to shoot we'll go ahead and go flaps one speed check flaps one um, this is a video of how to shoot an uh, ILS approach essentially in uh, the Phoenix A320. So if you're looking for that, you're in the right place. As we turn on to our final approach course here, we're gonna go ahead and arm the localizer, which we are still, uh, ooh, LS push button two. That's a big one that I forgot. Um, like I said, sorry, it's been kind of a rushed <laughs> approach, but uh, once you get below 10,000, you do all your lights and then you hit the LS push button 
which brings up all your information down here. So we have IRTH 111.5 and we're 10.2 miles DME. So that's very important and it gives you your scales as well. So we have our localizer and our glide slope now are coming up. So we'll go ahead and arm our approach mode and we'll get glide slope blue. And we have out in purple as well as we're slowing down right around 3000 here. Um, okay, so we have glide slope captured as well. We can go ahead and go flaps two. Flaps two is set and we could go flaps three right now, but we're not going to just yet because it's just a little bit early. Um, Zoo Labs, our final approach fix. So we have, uh, we just have some time before we can go gear down and stuff like that. We're about three from Zoo Lab. So, you know what, actually I think three from Zoo Lab, you're usually supposed to be pretty much set up uh, by around that point. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and we'll go uh, gear down flaps three and flaps full. And then we'll go ahead and get the uh, approach and landing checklist as well. Approach checklist, ECAM status is uh, checked. Uh, approach type, we have an ILS 3-1, right minimums 2-12, approach phase is active, and we're cleared to land, 3056 on the altimeter, and then landing checklist, auto brake is low, missed approach altitude, 4,000, we can go ahead and set that here in the altimeter, 4,000 feet is set, and ECAM memo is landing, so that is basically just... Landing no blue, right? So we don't have any blue going on in that section there. We have 4,000 blue. Here it is, landing, uh, landing no blue notifications over here. So with our landing checklist being done, um, cleared to land on 3-1 right. Let's go ahead and disconnect the autopilot and we'll hand fly this approach all the way in. Should be a nice calm one here, but about a, a quartering tailwind here. Very calm winds. Let's see if I can grease it. Probably not. lag spike there never hurt anybody just kidding it does hurt one thousand Land. Hundred above. Two hundred. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Alright guys. Reversers are out. Speed brakes are up. D cell. Eighty knots reverser is away. And 60 knots, we'll go manual brakes. We'll take our first left turn here on, uh, see, they're going to be whiskey or whiskey, whiskey. I can't tell. I think it's going to be, yeah, whiskey, whiskey here.
Alright guys, and that'll pretty much do it for this segment of the video. That's how to shoot an ILS approach into uh, JFK on the Phoenix A320. Oh, we'll get a little farther than that, get across that whole short line. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope that was helpful. And uh, if you want to learn how to tee the taxi in a shutdown procedure, go ahead and stick around um, for uh, the next video. So we'll see you guys then.